When you're poor, it can be difficult to focus on being happy, especially if you're worried about how you're going to make ends meet or put food on the table. Many people feel that in order to be happy, you need to have certain things. But studies have shown that once you can meet your basic needs, having more money doesn't bring more happiness. So what can you do to improve your happiness when you feel like you don't have any money? Look for experiences rather than things. There is a variety of things that you can do to enjoy life that do not cost very much money. First, you need to identify the times that you are most happy. It may be when you are lost in a good mood, outdoors, or when you spend time with friends. Then look at your budget and see how you can fit some of these things into your monthly spend sheet. Bonus points if it's a free activity. If one of your favorite things is dining out at nice restaurants, try learning to cook those foods. It will save you money even if you're spending more on ingredients than you normally would. There are always ways that you can cut back in some areas to spend a little more in another, especially when it concerns your emotional or mental health. Set goals and track your progress. One of the things that can be discouraging is focusing only on what you do not have instead of what you have. Instead of focusing on the negative, turn it into a positive. Set actionable goals each week to reach your dreams. It helps to be able to actually measure your progress. You can create a chart, use a jar to collect cash, or find other ways to see how well are you progressing toward reaching your goals. A budget is a must if you're in a situation when you're struggling to get by or you do not feel like you have enough money. You're never too poor to budget and it will help you to begin really moving forward on changing your situation. When you budget, be sure that you set aside some money each month for fun and for your goals. This will help you to be able to stick to your budget and stay motivated. Find like-minded friends. It helps to have friends that are in a similar situation and working towards similar goals. You can cheer each other on and find inexpensive things to do together. A good support group can help you stay motivated. If your friends are always complaining because you don't have money or trying to get you to spend more than you can afford, you may want to consider finding a new group of friends with a similar mindset. Remember, a good friend will not put you down because of your current financial situation and will be supportive of your financial goals. Gain some perspective. It's very helpful sometimes to take a break from everything and for example to go traveling. New places, new people and new feelings will let you to see your current situation in a different perspective. Travels are a good source of new ideas and it's very difficult to find a solution being in the center of events. So there must be some kind of an outside perspective on your problems. You can ask your friends for advice or just imagine that you're watching on your problems in the third person. We all know that it's much easier to solve other people's problems than our own. Practice good self-care. In stressful situations, especially long-term ones, it is important to take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This means taking the time to exercise on a regular basis and eating healthy food. It also means making sure that you have time to relax and let out your frustrations with friends. Spiritually, it can be individual for different people. For some people, it is taking the time to meditate each day. For others, it may be walking or hiking in the woods or visiting the beach. If you're taking care of yourself, you will be more motivated to make the changes that are necessary to improve your financial situation. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, share your ideas for the next videos.